buying the dip who's buying the dip of their favorite cryptos now we got to follow bitcoin because bitcoin is the one that is actually in charge and moves and uh, but if you look at ethereum ethereum was at 120 it's still kind of 250 so if you're playing that game of switch in and out uh where you have uh your stack that you have for long term but you have a different stack for a little short term little place here and there uh, i could be like you know everybody's different maybe a, a little stack to you could be 10 uh, maybe it's two, maybe it's five, whatever it is, maybe it's one, whatever it is, but everybody, maybe it's 50, <laughs> whatever it is, uh, uh, but you can play little games with your little stacks, um, I like to do that here and there, I've, I'm not gonna lie, I've been, you know, doing little different plays here, um, just to, you know, take advantage of the market when it, when it's uh, giving me something that I like, uh, so just looking at Bitcoin, um, I just want to talk about certain numbers, um, and these numbers are uh, 9,430 and 9,319. Um, those ranges, and of course, this is just from research and reading um, and looking and then, you know, asking around as well. Um, and it makes sense. Also, you just can't go off of uh, an article or people you speak to. You have to have, well, let me put it like this. You have to be familiar um, with what's going on. Now, if you've been out of touch with it, um, and you're just getting in, then yeah, you know, it's kind of hard, but you, again, you can almost feel it. It's tangible. Um, you got to know what's coming up, what's lined up uh, with the halving. Uh, so there's, there's a lot of things happening uh, before uh, this thing wants to take off. Or, you know, it's just doing that dance. We're dancing. I don't know if you guys remember me talking about in 2017 uh, about the dance and we'll do this and we'll do that. Um, again, because once you kind of see the pattern of what's going on here, um, you, you, you see in the short, short, short term. And when I talk short term, I'm talking about, uh, you know, matter of days. Uh, there's certain little place you can do before it goes and does another um, uh, takeoff. Again, I believe in these two years, we're going to have uh, some some special, special um, returns on investments. That's just my belief. Uh, but again, looking at Bitcoin, uh, those numbers that I just mentioned, and let me pull them up. Uh, 9,430, uh, 9,319. Um, and then uh, another one to look at is 9,089. What am I talking about? I'm talking about numbers of uh, support, right? If we break those, and if we're, we're in that range right now, um, and, you know, Bitcoin, Bitcoin would just shoot right back up to 10,000. Uh, but if we break uh, 9,319, uh, and again, you got to understand, Crypto's 24-7, and it moves fast. So at the time of the video uh, being released, it's kind of fluctuating around here. Uh, but 9,089 is another support level. Um, and then looking at uh, 8,800. Uh, again, doesn't mean that it's going to do that. But, hey, this is just a play. This is not to touch your stack, right? For example, for myself, I have a certain stack that it's not touched. This is just like, hey, I want to, you know, I'm kind of familiar, I'm quite familiar with the crypto market, what it does. And uh, if I see something and I have some cash on the sideline uh, for, you know, I've been doing little plays here and there uh, for, for times such as this. So to take advantage, maybe this is where I can acquire some uh, some pretty cheap Bitcoin with some of the games that I've already made with, uh, let's say, an Ethereum stack that was that was just there just to kind of flip here and there. Uh, I'm not touching my long-term Ethereum. You better, you better believe that my long-term Ethereum is not being touched. That that's that's not being touched. But um, there's you know short-term Ethereum stack that can turn to cash and flip it over and then take advantage of the Bitcoin when it's dropping and Ethereum's done what's done. Um, so again, just saying, who's buying the dip? Uh, I'm not nervous about this. I mean, seriously, I'm more. Uh, kind of excited to see if I can take advantage of the market, what it gives me, knowing what's coming uh, these next two years, in my opinion, in my belief. So um, not nervous, uh, actually kind of uh, excited. Uh, sometimes you want to be a little bear um, and uh, take advantage uh, of what the market is giving you and then turn it up and be a bull, you know. But long-term bull, absolutely for these two years, all right? Remember, it's a different crypto climate. Um, so if we break, let me just... Let me just pull this number up again, and then I'll close the video. Just wanted to share some information just for you guys. Uh, if we break 9,089, um, then it's possible that we get to 8,800. 
highly possible. Um, and then right there around those levels, maybe I buy some Bitcoin and let it go up just to kind of play a little uh, and make, you know, make a couple thousand. Who knows? Uh, just just to take advantage of the market. I, I always like to take advantage of what the market gives me. You understand? Um, no matter what, uh, I go at it 100% um, and try to do it uh, as professional as I can. But so I'm patient, waiting for it. If it doesn't happen, hey, so be it. I got my long-term stack. It's all good. But there's other cryptos too um, that are out there and dropping. Uh, it's not just a Bitcoin. It's, you know, there's other cryptos out there um, that, you know, I'm keeping my eye on. So I don't know what you guys are doing. Just wanted to share this and see if who's buying the dip, who's not. Uh, just like talking cryptos. It's one of the things that I'm passionate about. All right, guys, stay blessed, be blessed. You already know. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs>